Yes, yes family, we are coming up on Craig Norman Limited Operation here. This is one of our good brothers that's a real estate developer. You heard his presentation. And now we're going in to check out the property and get some more explanation of his project. As you know, we're always encouraging repatriation, you know, returning to the land of our ancestors and nation building and connecting. So this is live on Revolutionary Camp family. We're here in Ghana, in Prom Prom. Yes, family, so we are here. Happy group of people, people. <laughs> right. Watch it. As you can see, foundations and infrastructure. Watch. It was raining, raining heavy. Recently, so that's what you see, family. Lots of wetness. And this is the outside area of the property. Yes, yes, everybody look excited. <laughs> see, family, one of the main things you see is construction going up. Family, come on up, come on up to the elevation. young man wanted it. Okay, no problem. Um, James. All right. This is what you're looking at now. The top. Yes, this one. It's, the pic it's right out front. The picture's right out front. Oh, excellent. You have an idea out front. Perfect. <laughs> Professionalism family to the highest level. There we go. <laughs> Okay, but let me tell you what we got. This is actually um, going to be the jazz club. Okay, right here. This is going to be the jazz club. The stage is right there. So when those who have talent want to do their thing, it'll be here. <laughs> See, look, we already got somebody. Okay. This is um, what just just so you, everyone can get an idea. That's what we built. This should be, this should be complete by, what are we in? Um, 2022. No, the whole, 2020, we're well, in 2022. It'll be complete September, but this will be complete before then. What are we in? This should be, yeah, so June, July-ish. Okay, this will be complete and we'll be doing our thing. Above us, is a professional office. Mm -hmm. Where's the, uh, okay. This is a two-story structure. Mm -hmm. We're down on the first floor. Those pillars you see are right there. Mm -hmm. Okay. The second story mm -hmm. will be the actual uh, our our home office. CA Norman Limited home office will be above that. Okay. The 
vocational school that I spoke of, and clinic, and there's actually a restaurant. If you look right across, you'll see it. Okay. Those plots that are, uh, those, those plots, I mean those. Um, I got you, you're communicating well. Okay. <laughs> what I see is the rectangle filled with mud. That's what you're referring to? Yes, okay. that is, um, will be the slab. When we put the concrete, uh, when we pour the concrete for this structure, the one that's in the picture right there. Okay. okay. The clinic will be on the, what did you call it? The, the, <laughs> the square, yeah. the rectangle. <laughs> the clinic will be in a rectangle to your uh, right, and the restaurant will be to your left, and um, commercial will be um, in the middle. Okay. The actual vocational school is on the second floor. Is on the second floor of the structure, and at that school, we'll teach um, some. Uh, what is it? The computer. What is it? Microsoft uh, Office. We will uh, teach Microsoft Office. We will teach AutoCAD. We will teach um, Survey. Um, we will teach um, the U.S. frame construction, which is stick construction, wood, okay? Now, the question is, with all the, the, you see block, why are we doing wood? Because what you're looking at now took nine months to build. If it was wood construction, frame construction, it would have took, what, uh, four weeks. Four weeks to get to this point. Um, so we must, we must be able to build faster. Also, frame construction gives us the opportunity to put insulation in walls. As you can see, with block construction, there's no insulation in the walls. But the block and cement in and of itself is a form of insulation. But to keep hot in or cool in and hot out, you need regular insulation to do that. Um, so we're going to teach that method. We're trying to, um, for, well, we formed, we formed a partnership with the um, Black Contractors Association of America. They're based out of San Diego. Um, and they came in 2019. They came, I'm sorry, in 2018. They came and um, we're now at a point where they're gonna come back, or at least we're gonna reach out to them and get some actual uh, um, contractors to come out and spend um, a month here and actually train some people in frame construction, okay? Now, if you look at the wall behind you, or the wall there, it's, uh, what is it, uh, eight feet. Okay, from the beginning of that wall all the way to the end will be two-story commercial. Store, store, shop, shop, store, shop, shop. All the way down. If you um, are a person that buys into the project and you have a business, you can lease a space here uh, for your business. We have a built-in clientele. I told you there are 57 uh, homes or families that will be here. So you have a built-in clientele to um, market your goods. The residential portion is further down. We're going to walk to it so everybody seems to be okay. So we're going to walk to it. Before we go, before we go, our site engineer is Mr. James Demore. He is our site engineer. He's the one that's over the uh, building staff. He's the one that when I come and say, that wall is not high enough, it needs to be higher or lower, I tell him. He's the one 
that makes it happen. Our site's on-site security. This is Mr. Ilyasu. He is our on-site security. And right now, there's not a lot to be secured except for the fact that we put roads in. Everyone seems to think they're public Ghana roads <laughs> instead of their private uh, project roads. So he has to kind of patrol the, the area. But I would like for us to walk to the residential portion, if you don't mind. How far we walking? Oh, okay, yeah, I see. You know what time I see what time it is, but, but if I gotta carry you, I will. You know Alpha's a carrier, AKA. Yes, we know it. You know that. You know it. No, but we don't have a car. Let's, let's do y'all. I'll turn around, you know. Let's this way. Yeah, this way. That place is a bit muddy. All right, family, so I hope you like what you're getting a view of and what our brother Craig Norman is talking about. And that's what we're about, family. We're about connecting you to the future. As you see the ponding and puddle, you don't see this in the States very often, especially in new projects. Please. We must get our storm drains in. And in order to get our storm drains in, we must grade the site with uh, and add our curb and gutter, which we are doing. Our regular open, our, our final opening is scheduled for September. That will all be in place by that time. Excellent, excellent. And these are all basically also advices that you're giving to other people also that's looking to do the same thing. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. So family, there you go. Advice from the professionals, that's what we like to do. That's what we do, family. And let me just give you the direct contact details. They didn't view a state. And family, we're coming into the residential portion. And what you're looking at, family, is a framework of the future, a framework of a well-organized community. And this is where it starts from. So most of the time we're in the states and we're driving around, we see other people doing these developments. The site extends all the way down to the structure that you see. The site is, is a large, very large site. We have what we call custom home plots, where you buy a plot of land and build your, custom, your dream home. These, this is the area for that. As you can see, we have one coming up. We only have four plots left. That's sold, that is sold. Obviously where construction is coming up is sold. This one's sold and the two under the tree are sold. So we only have four custom home plots left. Those went for how much? Uh, $12,500. Right, so the size is 70 by 100. And that's and that's US dollars, not CDs. Right, that's US dollars, 12,500 US dollars. And the interesting thing is when we started selling, we started at $6,500. And the market has appreciated to that point over the last uh, 18 months. So what is this main road going to be called? This is, this is the main in and out. Right, it's actually a loop road and I don't have a name yet. I, I, I want to they come go. up with a, a catchy name. Yeah, you just gave it, loop road. 
a little more creative. Okay, as we stand here, this is the beginning of the large model. This here. Yeah. Right there. That is the foundation and footing and um, the block perimeter for the large model. If you want, you can go there. It's, it's kind of muddy, but yeah, go on in there. Walk in. Walk in, yeah. Yeah. So, and when you say the large model, that's the one that's 150? Yes. Okay. Yes. And that is 5,000 square feet. Where did you come up with the name Stadium View? Um, you see the second story there. If you go up there to where my office will be, you can see the stadium from here. Second story, you can see the stadium. Okay, there we go. And at one point, they want they were going to build the stadium, but they now have the practice field. But still, it's right there. You can see it. And anybody that wants to go up on the second story are more than welcome. Oh yes, absolutely. Let's do it. Okay, good. Okay, in the um, U.S., um, I got, I'm a um, real estate broker. And when you walk in, your living room is here. If you look at, and everybody, nobody brought there, please bring it, okay? Please pull it out. The, this portion, is right there. He's standing there. Okay. That's your living room. Okay? Formal dining is here. Okay? Stairwell to the second story is here. You walking in the pantry. Oh. Ah. <laughs> you enter. <laughs> the family room is here. Kitchen is here. Under the stairs is the pantry. So then, this is, I'm, I'm assuming, yes. you correct me, this is, would be considered the first floor? Yes, yes, oh, okay. we're on the first floor. Oh, okay. okay. Okay, so this is your kitchen. He's standing in the breakfast nook. Okay. This is an open kitchen. All right, this is your family room. So we'll be sitting here watching the football game while the ladies bring it. Well, wait, wait, I won't say it. 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 But here we'll be sitting watching the football game. Okay. That's it. That's it. Why we take turns? That's better. Okay, we come out the family room. And this is the bathroom, washroom, bedroom number two, and this is guest room number one. Okay. So on the first floor is one bedroom, right? Oh, two just bedrooms. Okay. One. That's, that's the master over there, right? Oh, okay. no, that master, no, 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 master. I know. I just thought. About it. You know, it's hard to get I'm out of there. I don't I'm like getting ready either. to freak you out yeah. with this master. You no, ready? Right you ready? Go ahead. We're ready. Go ahead. You ready? You know, ready. That's my AKA you're sister. You're when you walk upstairs, mm -hmm. okay. When you walk upstairs. Mm -hmm. This whole area right, okay. is the master bedroom. There you go. There you go. If you don't want to say master, you can use it. You can use main. If you, but yeah, master bedroom is all good. Okay. <laughs> the area here is the walk-in closet. It is. Walk-in closet. Bathroom upstairs. upstairs. Master bedroom, however you say it, here. Okay? Yes. 
That's the walk-in closet. The whole thing there, there. All the bathrooms I said. The bathroom. The bathroom, the bathroom in this park. Bathroom right okay. there. Okay. You see Starting the right pipe. with the pipes. Okay. okay. Yes. Yes. From here to here. Yes. 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 Okay. Now. So the, the big room would be from there to to where that pole is. That green. I mean, green yes. pole. Yes. Yes. Oh, okay. oh, for right here, where you're standing. Yep. Okay. Now. That's a large master, right? Okay, when you're upstairs, this hallway, this corridor is there. Okay, when you're upstairs, you walk, you're upstairs, you come into their bedroom. Okay, you decide to continue on. There's a bedroom here where this gentleman is standing. The laundry room is here where this water pipe is. And then you have these two bedrooms and, and the bath right upstairs. So that gives you one, two, three, four, and five. Okay? And that is what you have here. That is what we have. And that's your garage. Okay? Right how many here. Cars? Come on, let's oh, right. go oh, in the garage. Okay, we're in, so we're this, in the garage. So this type of uh, plot would be, you said, twelve thousand five hundred. Five hundred. Five hundred dollars. Yes, twelve thousand so five hundred dollars. This is just for the garage. Just for the. Yeah, oh yeah. For the lot itself. Yeah, just for the plot. Right? Yeah, for the hundred by seventy lot, wow. it's uh, twelve thousand five hundred. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, the Lamborghini and the Toyota, huh? Which um, I want to say the price that you, you're, you're offering, um, Craig Norman, is on the lower side of what's being offered now in Prom Prom. Yes, much lower. And I kept, I kept the price as low as possible because I want you guys to be here. There you go. I want you to be here. That's it. I, I, this project is big enough where I will make the money, the profit I need without raising the prices so high that you decide not to come, that you decide not to come. Right. There's so many amenities here. I want you here. Okay, this road right here, that is the clubhouse. Next to the clubhouse, is the swimming pool. That's right over there. I'd hold the drawing out a little bit and let's... Uh... The swimming pool will be right... Picture it this way. Clubhouse, swimming pool, and tennis court will take this whole piece. This whole area from here to the end. Yes, from pillar to pillar. Thank you. You said what we needed to hear. All right, so family, you see in the drawing, so this picture, the development, you got to visualize. A little further, then we can turn around. You ready? Put the ready? Yes, homeowners see, we'll start one year after you purchase. So when you purchase, you don't pay a homeowner's fee until one year later and until all the common use facilities are in. If I don't have them in, you don't pay. Okay? And do you have an That's right. I'm going to make sure that they are in. Okay. From this pillar, going this way to the end of this road, Right here are the Airbnb units. There will be um, uh, multi-family units. There'll be eight, um, I'm sorry. There'll be 16, eight on first floor, eight on second floor. Okay. And then there will be two single family units also mm -hmm. that will be Airbnb mm -hmm. that will be here. Um, the Executive homes start, that's what the models are. This is the second model here. The third model will be there. 
the executive homes will start here and go all cover this whole area. This whole area. Are you saying right where that uh, white little short hole is or uh, stick is with the red mark on it? That's yeah. where it'll start? No, no. It'll oh. start right... Oh, you're talking right this one? Yeah. Yes, there. Oh. Yes, there'll be the uh, road there, and the executive homes will cover that area. They will continue down here. They will go down the back of the property and come all the way up to that little shack. You see that little shack? Uh -huh. That will be gone, and the elementary school will be over there. Yeah, the elementary school will be over there. Okay. And who can attend the elementary school? Is that for the residents only? Or no, no, no. It's okay. for anybody. But, but it's going to be the American curriculum. It is not going to be the British curriculum. It will not be the British curriculum. It will be the U.S. curriculum. That's the only stipulation with the school that I have. And I... Um, I'm not an administrator in school and don't know much about it. We had um, members of, um, of um, the junior college system and in the education system, some of them happen to be alphas, uh, fraternity brothers that want to design the curriculum for the school. So I'm open to it. Anybody, anybody that understands that, that that is what they do. I'm looking for that input, but I want to get the structure up first. And once I get the structure up, then the, it's open to whomever can help put together the American curriculum for K through uh, six, sixth grade. Um, wait, 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 let me ask. Gun in. J, J, H, Stuck. Junior high school. Goes to level? Goes to level three. One to three. One to three. Yeah. How old are you when you hit three, level three? Uh, before maybe, you go to S? Before you go to senior high, senior high that, that's your uh, 15. 15 years. Yeah, 15. Perfect. So yeah. it's to eight. Yes. It's, it's K to eight, yeah. the school. Yeah. You, this will be the equivalent of JSS yes. for Ghana yes. and elementary for the states. Okay, and then from here you go to high school. Yeah. All right. Okay. This is what we have. This is what we have. Oh, by the way, over there, um, where you see the two pillars, that's the end of, of the road down there. But at the very end is the playground area and the area for, and the picnic area. So there will be barbecue grills there. So for those of you who think you can queue, it'll be over there. So um, we'll have that. I want you to be able to walk in our gates and feel familiar with the environment. You can always walk out and you're straight Ghana. Ghana doesn't change. You walk out, that's what, when you come in, you may hear the jazz playing. Our, our old school R&B, um, we have the, the restaurant will be there, um, like I said, but you wa I want you to come here and feel at home because when you repatriate, as they say, you are home, but it's different than what we're used to. It's good, but it's not what we're used to. So I want you to be able to come to an environment that you are used to, see things that you normally see, all right? And then as you uh, go forth and go out um, and, and go to uh, Kakum or to the uh, slave castles and all of the tourist places or go into Accra and do, as you do all of that, it's there for you. But when you come home, you come, you pull into your garage, you open your door, you sit in your family room, you send food to your wife. Is that better? Okay. <laughs> you, you get food to the wife, kiss the kids in a way that you are used to. All right? And that's the whole purpose uh, of this project. 
that is what we're doing. So thank you all for coming and and for being here. She wants to ask you. I'll take any oh, question. Question number one. You said it's going to be like the school system in the U.S., basically. Now, are they planning to have a cafeteria? In the school? Uh, yeah, that's what I'm just curious about. Yeah. Okay, so K-8 K cafeteria. And another thing you say is like the American school system. Yes. Now, you know that's a mess. So curriculum. About, okay, curriculum. you're talking about the correct curriculum because that's, yes. that's a mess. Okay. Well, right, that's thing. why I'm saying those, okay. are, those who have that skill right. set that's what I'm saying. need sure. to come and... and do, do their thing. Okay. This is, you know, when when those of you who are who have been in the education field, you know where the problems are, and here's a chance where you can solve those. Absolutely, because you got um, you, know, you have better hands on on changing things. There you go. Not only that, you got a built-in population of school students that are coming. Yes, sir. Yeah, I just want to add to it that you have a lot of schools in Ghana that run the curriculum of the United States and UK in Ghana. So we have GR, GMAC, all those, there are schools in, like, um, like GIS, Ghana International School, like uh, DPS, like uh, Monista, they do that. So you choose if you want your kids to run the Ghana Education Service curriculum, they do. So all those, the Ghana Education Service comes in to approve all the curriculum. So it depends. That's it. And the one thing about the what the gentleman is talking about, about the American system and the schools, the American schools, it costs $9,000 a semester to send your kid. $9,000 a semester. Okay, that ain't going to be the cost here. <laughs> I guarantee you that. That is not, I mean, it is, it's in Accra, but it is mutually exclusive because you, no one, I mean, nobody here left America with riches that, that's rich, that can spend $18,000 a year on their child's elementary education. That's college, that's university. So that's the reason and why, we're, why I put the elementary school and the vocational school. And the vocational school, everybody, some people may want to learn a trade. That's fine. It'll be there. It'll be there. That's good. So that's the reason. That's the reason. Again, the goal is to get enough of us here where our impact, you know, we say we're home. We're home, the motherland. We're where we're supposed to be. But I guarantee you, if you line up an African-American, a Chinese, a Lebanese and a European and ask the Ghanaian, pick the one that you are want to be with the most. It will not be us. It will not. Of course not. It will and not. that is our fault. Mm -hmm. We must make our impact in this country if we're gonna keep calling it our homeland, our motherland, our, our all the, our ancestral home, we must make an impact. You must see something that says, that's an African-American project. That's an African-American school. That's an African-American business. We have to see it. You, they have China Mall, okay? Bomani, take us all to African-American Mall, please. <laughs> I can take you to the uh, Palace Mall, which is owned by Lebanese. But don't, don't, you almost, you okay. almost. I can take you to the African American Mall. Take us there. And I can take you some other, to some other people mall. That's, That's it. it. We have to do this. We have the money. We have the education. We have the intellect to do this. We just have to do it. We can't just keep romanticizing about I'm home, I'm home, I'm an African American, so they should love me. We can't. We gotta show them, give them a reason. Give them a reason. The Chinese do, and then they exploit everything they can. We wouldn't do that. The Lebanese do, then they exploit everything they can. We wouldn't do that, and here we are giving all our services for free. And they do not, 
as, as I said in a post once, we are treated like unwelcome guests in somebody else's house. We can change that. And, and this we community is gonna do that also. It's gonna be one of those impact. There and the more communal go. projects that we do, all those things change over a period of time. There we go. There we go. Okay. And that's what we're going to do. Okay. So when you get back to the States, tell your people that there's a place. Um, the um, Remember, the some of you will, matter of fact, I think most of us remember, the Staple Singers yeah. had a I'll song, I'll, I'll Take, take you, you There. there. Right. That is going to be our I'll theme song right. in <laughs> September. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, I'll take you there. Dad. I know a place. Okay? So that's what we're looking for. But Mani, again, thank you for coming. Man. Absolutely, my brother. Thank you, for bringing my you know, you know what we do? We showcase the greatness of our people you know, from the African diaspora that's, that's here on the African continent making a serious impact. You know, a lot of times our stories don't get told of what we're working on. So this is it. Uh, looking forward to coming back over and over a period of time and showing people the growth and empower more people to invest, come live, do business here, and you know, make, it a, make, make, make it make it an integral part, kind of like, you know, One Africa Resort. It's, you know, you know it, 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 it's, it's a brand of the work that we as a people are doing and encouraging other people to do. Well, good, so. it's a very positive thing. Matter of fact, as you all know, this is the rainy season. Construction season starts again around November, October, November, correct? Yes. Okay. When next time you see, this site will be full of people like it was. We'll be back in December. Oh, well then, yeah, so, you'll see people, so once you'll we see a lot going on. Through. But if you go to the website, you'll see yeah. things that are there that's going on. All right. So perfect. So, so now take us to the rooftop so we can see All right. the stadium view. There we go. Come on. Come on, man. You're athletic. Family. So this is it, family. Where is this from? We're making that impact on the African continent and encouraging those out there just talking, put the energy together, and let's, let's do it stronger. Sure. Oh, that's the most important part. I, I, yeah. <laughs> no, it does, but I can tell you. Um, the way um, you pay for, you're talking about a plot now. Okay, for a home. Okay. A person wants to pay for a home. Okay. All right. Good, good, good. Um, is that. That's for that. Oh, okay. That's okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. How would they go about that? Okay. The 12500 is you put a deposit down. I you'll have to I'll have to be certain that it's it's five thousand. Um, you put that deposit down, and then we have to get busy and start the indenture process and all of that. It'll take about ninety days, and then you'll put your balance down. So when you make your final payment, you'll have your land balance. You don't make your final payment until after you have your land. Yeah. After the 90 days. Correct. Now, for the structures, for the executive homes, mm -hmm. that is a little different. Okay. There are five payments that have to be do, uh, made, and they're about 45 days apart, could be 60, but they're upon completion payments. Mm -hmm. So. When the slab is in place, you make you make a deposit. Mm -hmm. And then when the slab is in place, you make your next payment. After the 45 days. Correct. Okay. Then when we get to the lintel level, which is right above the window or door, mm -hmm. or if you choose a two-story model, mm -hmm. the second story, mm -hmm. when that's up, you make another payment. Mm -hmm. That would be maybe uh, about 60 days. Mm -hmm. Okay. So 
Thank you for sharing this. My question is on the side itself, does it tell you the, the individual, the initial amount of money for the first, um, the first day uh, for the executive? For the deposit. For yes, the for, executive. The depo for the deposit. Yes, for mm -hmm. the deposit. It's there. Okay. It's there. Right. That's what's up. Thank you for sharing this information with us. I see what we're going to do. We're just going to go up those stairs. Go up those stairs. Mm -hmm. Go up those stairs. You all watch that much. Mm -hmm. And this is another reason why I'll be reaching out to the uh, Black Contractors Association and the, um, what is it, uh, MBSCS, the um, Minority Engineering Society. Because we got to grade this. Mm -hmm. We got to do a grading and drainage plan. Thank you. Yes, and I love the RBG flags out front. There we go. There we go, family. So I gotta. Oh, no doubt. If no one else, I'm gonna do it. The red, black, green flag, family. But you can walk to the front. The steps up there. I'll go to the front. Yeah, stay on the wall. Stay on the wall. Oh, why are you right behind me? <laughs> I'm only behind you because you have a nice view of your T-shirt. <laughs> yes, family, we are up in elevation. The second floor. This is the second story of any structure. See a normal limited family. You cannot build any the C A Norman Group so Incorporated. Of anyone. Okay. All right. Stadium is that way. Oh. All right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So the stadium. And so the stadium is pretty close. Cool. Yes. Yeah, so let me see. All right, let's see what we can get your family. So that is the stadium over there. Stadium view. Right there, family, Stadium View okay. um, Estate. That's the website and the phone number, family. Connect with our brother, Craig Norman. We're bringing you all aspects of professionalism and nation building. I could have brought them. You see? I could have brought everything to them. But all we need is a digital copy. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I can send. I guess to you. Oh, yeah, send, you send, send, send anything to me on WhatsApp, like a digital digital uh, version, especially of the brochure. I load it up in our page, and then I also have a copy, and okay. and things like that. And there you go. Digital right. technology. That's it. That's it. Let's save New some. School. Let's I'm save some. Old school, let's save some people. trees. Let's save some trees. I still right. print all of our brochures and all of our marketing material, but I also have everything digital. So I just, you know, work both aspects of the world. Cause you know, some people you meet, they just want to print out of like a brochure and certain things. Yes. That like what you just did. Yes. Okay, I got this is good. Any solar panel then gonna be on there? Thank you. Windmills? Yes, Talk about it. it. Talk about it. Yeah. Sustainability, the there you go. question of the day. Solar panels. How about boreholes and, and all yes. of that? You want to hear that too? Yes. I got something for you. Okay. You ready? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, you remember I said that there will be stores going from yes. there going along that wall to the end okay it's a two-story structure mm -hmm. on the roof of each structure is solar panels the 
solar panel battery room will be the first, the security room will be first there, then the battery room, and then it'll be solar panels the whole way through. Mm -hmm. Now, you know where I pointed to where the school, the, the elementary school mm -hmm. is going to be. Mm -hmm. Oh wait, we said boreholes. Okay, so there'll be a borehole there in that corner. There will be another borehole at the end of the site in that corner, mm -hmm. and there will be pipes running to meet mm -hmm. each other that will come through the streets of the project. So you will have Ghana water mm -hmm. as an option, mm -hmm. and you will have the borehole water as an option. When Ghana water cuts off, you switch to your oh, borehole so, water. Okay. Now, um, there were some guys that were accused, that were Omegas here yes, earlier. Yes. <laughs> Did you see those guys? That's terrible. No, that's not terrible. That's not terrible. But in Ghana, the queues have put in 150 boreholes throughout Ghana. They're doing great. Yes, they're doing a great job. So, um, yeah, but we will be putting one here, one there. And it will carry the water to the site. So you will have Ghana water and you will have borehole water, depending. Now, about the electricity, that is a power pole there. There's another power pole there. There are two more. Come this way. Okay. That pillar, that last pillar on your left, right there. Um, there's a power pole right before there. So we're going to take that power pole that's there. We're going to drop the power down to go underground to the executive home site. All the executive homes will have power, no power lines running across. Yes, no power lines running. None of this. Uh -huh. Will you see uh, in the executive home? Okay, but in the other ones, you will see power lines. Well, there'll be power the lines here, yeah. mm -hmm. and there'll be power lines there. there. Okay. Mm -hmm. so like there. But the but then we're dropping it right. to go okay. underground. Okay. Yes. Underground. Now, you want to hear something else? Mm -hmm. That's great. Yeah. All right. Do you um have a what do they call it? Hair dryer mm -hmm. and uh, all of that, uh, and you ain't got US it. Power? You can't no. use it here because sure it's got a converter. Multi voltage. Okay. Yes, we're going to drop uh, a 110 transformer oh, right at oh, the. Oh, yeah. Yes, 110. So you'll have 220 from Ghana. Right. You'll, you'll have, have 110, 110 from us. So you'll have two plugs. Okay. See, see family, this man has figured it all out, man. Yes. There you go. We, we, should, we can all learn from this family. <laughs> so you'll have your choice. Yes. All right. I was like, I'm bringing my appliances that I got to get some of this plug. There you go. Because that is an issue that people have. Yes. Yes. And now it can, just, it, it, can, it can just be connected like it's a natural system that you're there used to. There we go. It's and that's just natural. So for those who are not understanding what we're talking about, making it seem like we may be talking too complex for them, we're just making it that simple. The way you're used to using your appliances and everything in the U.S., you'll be able to use it here without changing or converting right. or doing anything. Be It'll be, it would already be set up in the system. Your mixer and your microwave and all of that. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, and that will be right there. Okay. So and I'm gonna go back to, to the Airbnbs. Those gonna have solar power. Oh, well. absolutely. Okay. Every common facility will have solar panels. Your private facility, your structure, you can get solar panels. We'll do it for you uh, if you want. But I think it's a. Uh, Seven thousand additional dollars. Mm -hmm. Okay, for the, for the solar package, all right? Yes, yes. Um, you can do that. But for every common facility, common use facility, we'll have solar panels on the roof, and we're bringing water in borehole water, and we're dropping the electricity so that it's underground, and we're doing the one ten uh, trifle, uh, short for transformer, in. 
to Wi-Fi everywhere. Yeah, Wi-Fi will probably be in in the next two weeks, as soon as the rain stops. Uh-huh. Yeah, as soon, as soon as the rain stops. You're going to put in your own satellite? Oh, go ahead. Um, wait, wait, wait. No, guy, with your question. Oh, okay. What's the cost of the Airbnb? Uh, the Airbnb unit? Yes. Okay, good. Yes. Good. Um, the Airbnb units are two bedroom and three bedroom, and they're apartment type units. Mm-hmm. Okay, and I think um, forty five thousand and fifty thousand are the prices. It's on the website also, but um, those are the prices that I remember pricing things at uh, for Airbnb because that's going to be like a condo. Yes. You know, yes. that's going to be like a condominium. A you come, condo, yeah, second you come, floor, second floor, exactly. Floor. First floor, second, second floor. floor. And, that's and if you're staying in the States, we will manage right. it for you. Oh, awesome. We will manage <laughs> the Airbnb <laughs> okay. for you. You got to get your people, mm-hmm. but we will manage it so mm-hmm. that um, it's, uh, what is it, clean and, mm-hmm. and all of that. And the okay. maintenance, yes. Quite and feet. Of course. I mean, yes. I mean, but we don't, you know, we don't always have to tell you that, but you know, you know it is. You know, money talks. Yeah. <laughs> I know you said to be determined on the HOAs, the ballpark. Oh yeah, yeah. The HOA, the ballpark, the it was eighty-five dollars a month. A year. A month, and we dropped it. I think now it's seventy-five. It's going down. Okay. Okay. Um, but. We got to wait till we get further and get all the landscaping in. So you can and there will be trash collection. By the way, you can't burn, you can't burn uh, your trash. You can't bring chickens, cows, and all of that. You can't go. It's important for you to mention that. that. <laughs> yeah, none of that will be here. Yes. Okay, none of that. But anyway, um, so until we get all the common facilities, in place, I cannot tell you with certainty right. what the HOA fee will be, but it'll be no more than eighty-five dollars because I push that yeah. out. Okay, and going up that every, out. every year, a few years. Well, it goes up with the inflation, right. but okay. um, to but, a point. Right? Sir, so know. much percent? What percentage you talking? Yeah, I don't know. Now okay. that I don't know, okay. I, let me let me see okay. what the overall cost is going to be for the mate for the maintenance of the boreholes for the maintenance of the solar panels for the maintenance of the swimming pool right. tennis court okay. let me see what it's going to be right. i know what it's going to be to put it in right. that's how i came up with the 85 dollar number mm-hmm. but now to make sure that it functions at the level that we are accustomed, accustomed to, to mm-hmm. let me see what i'm dealing with okay. And I got what? it. Okay, I, I will say suggest uh, in uh, Tampa. Okay, forgot the community. Uh, girlfriend lives there. Um, they paid like a certain amount for their um, HOAs up front. They still paid, I think, once a year, which you know you own the monthly, which is fine. But they paid like twenty five hundred. So they took that, I guess, and invested it or whatever mm-hmm. to keep their once a year really low. Well, you know, you know, that's interesting, that's, that's interesting because the minute about. you said that, my mind said, well, okay, <laughs> then that would be $960 a year. Mm-hmm. Your first year is paid. Mm-hmm. When you buy, mm-hmm. your first year is paid. Mm-hmm. Okay, and after that, yeah, maybe annually will be better. I mean, mm-hmm. it just depends. Mm-hmm. You guys will be part of the association. You'll, you'll be a part of the association. So you, your input, your ideas and whatnot will be presented and voted on. Matter of fact, it'll, it won't be in my office. I ain't having all y'all call out my office. But it'll be at the clubhouse. Mm-hmm. It'll be at the clubhouse where we have our meetings and everybody will get to say and, mm-hmm. and do, their, do their thing. Okay. Like I said, what I do, I am a developer. The administrative part, I have to leave to the experts. Okay, I have to leave that to the experts. In many cases, it's you all. It's you all. Okay, we can build it. <laughs> we can build it. But um, as far as it should HOA dues be annual, monthly, or, or whatever, that's up to you guys. Mm-hmm. You know, that's up to you guys. Now, you know, we're in Africa, Ghana in particular. Now, the prices. Fixed or negotiable? Fixed. Because everything is a bargain. Ah. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> That's what you're going to say. What were you going to say? Everything is? Negotiable. All right. You know All right. 
You catch me when I got to pay the staff, the price may go way oh, no. down when it's payday. Okay. <laughs> so really they're fixed. Okay, so whether it's yeah. executive, whatever. Yeah, we, we yeah. Set, we've That's set the good. prices. We have set the mm -hmm. prices. So even we put some money underneath, you know. Well, I, I don't, <laughs> don't take envelopes. I don't take oh, envelopes. That's, that's okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, right. no envelopes. <laughs> Just pay what you got, what you're supposed to pay, and build what you're supposed to build. And when oh, no structure that you those in the custom home section, no structure can be uh, under 2,000 square feet. We're not going to devalue okay. the executive homes. Mm -hmm. I got you in that uh, I love this guy right. He got everything worked out. <laughs> the master plan, Craig Norman family. You literally have heard us interview him over the years and have him share information. Now we have actually come to see the site. I know people probably thought, what's, you know? Now, you know, because we talked about it so much. Family, you have, all, you have almost one hour view of this beautiful site. And, you know, and as we keep coming back, you're going to see the growth and development of it. And that's all it is, family. You know, come, invest, and build from the ground up. And a lot of things you're going to figure out in between. But for now, you have experts and other people that can help you through those things. So that, is, that is the plan. I hope as many people come. Um, it's for those of the diaspora. So... Uh, if you're from UK, diaspora, anywhere in the diaspora, this is your place. This is your place. That's perfect. And for All those right. who may want to do something else, uh, do, do you offer consultation? Because you got the master plan, my brother. <laughs> Dead serious. <laughs> I've been at this since 1984. Some of you guys weren't even It's kind of like in your blood. Thank you. I was, I was here with you. There we go. I was here with you. Yes. So how often hey. do you come here and how long do you know hey. your state? Or it depends. Hey, I, I live here. here. You live in the, okay, in the area? Yeah, I, well, you passed my place coming here. From from 1212, you drove right past oh, my place. So how often? <laughs> well, I'm, yeah, I've been back once since 2020. And I'll go back again probably around the 4th of July. Yeah. Yep, and I'll go back for two. Last you going to live in here? Am I going to live? No, in actuality, in actuality, I'm not. But the managers will live in the first model home. So you, so they're on-site people that you can knock on the door and say, "This is, you know, what we're dealing with." Okay. Yeah. That is beautiful. So and have any of your family been here yet, or yes. you plan on coming? Yes. Out? Matter of fact, the sign board, the girl on the sign board. Yeah, well, I see the black and white. That's my daughter. Okay. Beautiful. Okay. Yes. The model, yeah. Yes. Yes. Sure, that's She's your daughter. Model. Yeah. She graduated from Spelman. Oh, okay. okay. Yes. I'm trying to see. No, not yet. Oh, we're, we're, oh, oh, I see the photo now. Let's see if we can get a zoom of this photo. Don't admit I have a 10 year old and I have a 20 year old. Yeah, we're not in. Right, that is a yeah, like they, like family, so we're gonna close out family and give you a last beautiful view. One of the things I want to show you is these solar street lights. Uh, Duncan, what I want to show you is this right here. This is one of the things that we have to work on right here. The solar. Yeah, the solar. Yeah, this is a great idea what he did with his. Using it, uh, building the foundation mm -hmm. and then connecting it to I like that idea. And, and things in. That's what made these things perfect. Yeah, his idea is very perfect. Yeah. And then you know, laying them out in the, you know, in the streets. And everything. So, family, you know what we show you is this movement from the ground up. So, once again, family, this is Bomani Temba, and we're live on Revolutionary Cam here in Prom Prom, Ghana, showing you this incredible real estate development project by Craig Norman. So, family, reach out, connect, reach out to the brother for consultation or for this investment. And definitely family. 
we're serious people, so connect with the people who have all the experience, and let's uh, build our strong connection, as our brother mentioned, here in Ghana and other parts of the African world. Okay, make sure you all hold on. Oh, I am. All right, Craig. What? <laughs> yeah, watch her. I picked my hold up against the wall. <laughs> all right, so, um, all right, Craig. I uh, appreciate your energy. And we're gonna close here and we'll connect back next time. I look forward to coming back here again in December, the end of the year, right. for our next journey. I'll see you. And to all your people that are in your network, come with us, brother. Come back to see what we're dealing with. Believe me, when you say you're home, you are. But when you come here, you are really home. Absolutely, right. family. All right, family, the journey continues. You all know, I just want to make sure that everyone is careful going down this path.